Hey guys, this is Ricardo and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. As you can see here, I'm going to show you an issue where the Dell Power Edge um, 3524 is giving an issue where you're seeing the LED that's in red as shown on screen. Now this is a 24 port switch and these are things you can basically pick up on Amazon. Now we had this one on a server, it was working for years and then of course for some reason it seems that dust and so on caused one of these fans that you're seeing at the side to go dead. Now usually this device uses passive cooling on most other brands but for some reason Dell has decided to include those small fans. So the first thing I'm going to do guys as you can see here, this is the cabinet I removed it from. So we remove all of the um, ethernet um, connections and now we're just going to open up the switch. So if you're having a similar issue where your switch is not working as it should, basically you can follow along and open this device up and I'm going to show you how to actually go about um, fixing it. You can find the screws at the side, so you're going to remove the main screws. You can also remove the brackets. There are screws beneath them as well. And then you're going to lift up the top panel. Alright. Now, once you do all of that, you should see the fans. There's not nothing uh, much inside of these um, switches. Alright. And what can happen here is that this can save you a few hundred dollars US if you actually just basically open this up and fix it so in the case that you're seeing there with that led is showing you that um red instead of the normal green it's just indicating that the fan has gone um dead and all you need to do is just replace that fan so i'm going to give you two solutions show you how to replace the fan and also a quick solution that can be used to actually get the switch back up so you can actually use it all right so as you can see here, um, the first thing I recommend that you do, especially if this is the first time you open this up, is to actually clean out the inside. As you can see here, it's quite dusty and it needs to be cleaned. So I actually using some can here to actually blow out the inside to eliminate any dust since you're actually in here already. So it's nothing to actually dust. Go ahead and clean. So you can clean out the fans. Um, I'd suggest also that you power it up after this has dried to test to see if it's actually dust that's actually causing the fan sensor not to work. Um, if you notice the fans, just observe them for a while. If you notice the one that's not working, as in the case of my second one here, this is the defective fan, I'll actually remove it. Now, the thing is, this switch will not power up with one fan. And here's um, the case where I've actually added a yellow jumper to short out the fans and it's actually working now i'll show you at the end of the video the jumper that i've actually used you can get these off motherboards they're just um a pin clip that's placed over two of the um jumpers that where the fan usually is to actually um trick it into thinking that the fan is connected as you can see there now it shouldn't be an issue and this is the fan that we remove it shouldn't be an issue as the device should be able to cool itself basically with passive cooling and the one um, fan and heat sinks on board you can actually get the um, fan online you can search on amazon all right guys Ricardo from blog tech tips saying goodbye until next time please just give us a thumbs up and bye